This lesson is on frequency tables. We're going to use the test scores that we used uh, on the previous lesson to create a frequency table. And using the frequency table, we're just analyzing data again. So what we're going to use is we're going to use those test scores that we received on a particular test, a specific test of the grades of 100, 90, 80, 80, 80, 65, 75, 75, 80, 90, 50, and 85, and we're going to create a frequency table. The first thing we need to know about a frequency table is that we have to create what's called tally marks. A tally mark is just a line. It's just a line. That one line represents one piece of data. Two lines represent two pieces of data. Three lines represent three pieces of data. Four lines represents four pieces of data. And if we take four lines and put a slash through it, that represents five pieces of data. Then we start over. If we have six, we would have the five mark and the one mark. Seven would be five mark and the two mark. Eight would be five and the three mark. Nine would be five and the four mark. And if we had 10, we would have two five marks. So the tally mark is going to be what we use uh, in our frequency tape. So using the test scores, we're going to go and we're going to create uh, a frequency tape. So we're going to say we, we're going to call our frequency table test scores. We're going to have uh, represented on our frequency table each one of the test scores, which, which would be the data that we're analyzing. So we're going to start from the highest test score and go down to the lowest test score as we create our table. So we, we had a 100, a 90, an 85, an 80, a 75, a 65, and a 50. We're going to create our table of one hundred ninety eighty five eighty seventy five and sixty five We're going to label this scores. So now we have our scores. We also want to create a column for tally, which is going to show our tally marks. And our last column, we're going to call frequency. And basically, frequency is just as it sounds, how often something occurs. How frequent does it occur? How many times does it occur? That's how frequent it is. We have scores, tally, and frequency. <laughs> then we're going to go back to our original set of data, and we're going to count the number of times that we received a 100. Only one time did we have a 100. Let's just check that off so that we don't double count it. receive one 100, so we get one tally mark. We have one two 90s, so that 90 gets 
two tally marks. 85, we have 185, so we get one tally mark. For 80, we have one, two, three, four eighties. So 80 gets one, two, three, four tally marks. For 75, we have one, two, two seventy fives. 75 gets two tally marks. For 65, we have 165. So 65 gets one tally mark, and we forgot to place, I think we had a 50, we had one, one we had 150. back and mark off our 50. So 50 gets one tally mark. So now we've created a table, we've got our scores, we have our tally marks, and now we want to know the frequency. The frequency, all we have to do is count the tally marks. We count the tally marks, we write down the number. That, that gives us how frequent it is. For 100, we have one tally mark, so the frequency is one. For 90, we have two tally marks, so the frequency is two. 85, we have one tally mark, the frequency is one. 80, we have four tally marks, so the frequency is four. 75, we have two tally marks, the frequency is two. 65, we have one tally mark, so the frequency is one. And for 50, we have one tally mark, so that makes the frequency 1. And that gives us our frequency table.